excellent. Don't disappoint me. If you don't complete the collection, it would be better if you don't show up in my science class at all. Why is that? You, is that a threat? Because if you don't get all those samples, I'll switch today's lesson from plants to something that involves a nasty dissection. Got it? It looks like this is a new save file. Be sure to check out the help section of the pause menu to learn the controls and stuff. Will do. That's also where you can find the mission map. It'll tell you what story missions you can do with the stuff you've unlocked. Let me see that. We got a tale of two janitors, flowers for Diana, and the, the hitman's potty guard. What? Okay, when you're ready to get started, head over to that door and we'll start our first day. Oh, say less. <laughs> we see the janitor still works here. What's up, janitor? Filthy. Absolutely filthy. Uh, what is? Are you blind? Look at this place. That other no-name janitor over there has really let this place go to crap. Do we really want to start his? Nope. Is that Monty? Hey, uh, you looking to buy something? What happened to you? That rotten janitor didn't like that I corrected his spelling. <laughs> but rest assured he's going to get what's coming to him. Okay, that is Monty. Are you going to kill him? Kill him. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to destroy him. <laughs> Are you going to buy something or what? No, thanks. Help, Nugget is trapped. Nugget? How'd you get down there? Nugget was searching for a suitable place for the new Nugget cave. So you crawled through a sewer grate? No, Nugget was searching for a suitable place to dig by the tree next to the handicap ramp. The ground started to shake. There was a cave in. Your handicap? <laughs> People seem to think so. Right, so what should I do? Find help. Ask teacher, janitor, or principal. Nugget does not care. Just get Nugget out of here. Okay, okay. Um, teacher? Oh, it's you. How's, uh, how's it going? Uh, Nugget is stuck behind the sewer grate. Does he have any pills on him? I don't think so. Then he can stay down there. One less kid for me to worry about today. That's why you ugly. Wow, that's crazy. Hello, I'm the principal of this fine school. I'm so happy to have so many new students today. Uh, Nugget is stuck in the sewer grate over there. Oh, the little chi odd child? Yes, I'm aware of the situation. So are you going to do anything about it? Most certainly. I wouldn't just leave a student trapped in a sewer. The fire department is on their way to get him out. Thanks, I'll let him know. Oh, that won't be necessary. I'll have my sister watch over him. Oh, Margaret. Ugh, why is she shaking like that? Behind you, sweetheart. Oh, how can I be of service? There's a boy trapped in the sewer grate. Go keep him company. Yes, principal, sister, dear. What? There, I'll take care of. Is there anything else? What's wrong with her? <laughs> oh, I'm not really sure. It must be all the new students have her a little on edge. Did she call you sister? Yes, she did. She was having trouble finding a job and I couldn't let the poor thing starve. Right. You just called your sister a thing. That's crazy. And who is this Jimmy Neutron head shape? Uh, one of the new specimens. Not that we will be seeing much of each other. Uh, why not? I don't let below average students into my classroom from morning time. I'm not below average. Oh, really? Then perhaps you'd be willing to prove it. How so? Here's the deal. If you can bring me five different types of flowers for my science class today, I'll let you into my morning time class tomorrow. Uh, why do you want flowers? Plants have a wonderful biology to them. So many possibilities for medicine and energy and poisons and neurotoxins and monster enhancing. Hold up. <clears throat> Just get the flowers, okay? Excellent. Don't disappoint me. If you don't complete the collection, it would be better if you don't show up in my science class at all. Why is that? You, is that a threat? Because if you don't get all those samples, I'll switch today's lesson from plants to something that involves a nasty dissection. Got it? Principal, you hearing this? Good. Now go get my flowers. Uh, where can I find them? Your thought process is so simple. Females tend to like flowers. Maybe start there. Any other ideas? One specimen grows in the garden by the handicap ramp. Another by the dumpster behind the school. There's one in, the, in a vase in the teacher's lounge. And the rarest flower isn't even at the school. You have to get some love-struck loser to deliver it. it you will never be allowed in my class. So what are you waiting for? Go. Go on your futile errand and hopefully this is the last we'll see of each other today. We'll see about that. Oh, a word to the wise? You may want to have a chat with the hall monitors before the day gets started. They tend to give people trouble when collecting my flowers. Uh, where are they? I saw them chatting inside at the top of the staircase. So you let me in to talk to them? Of course not. 
only disabled students are allowed into the school early. And even if you snuck in, the lunch lady would stop you. I'll figure something out. I need to get to the handicap ramp. I see. Well, maybe we can work something out. Like what? I'll tell Bob over there that you're pushing me at the ramp for $3. Sound good? $3? Spare change. Spare change, ma'am. Sure. Pleasure doing business with you. It always is, Monty. Hey, I need that kid I was just chatting with to push me up the ramp. Oh, alrighty then. Go on by. Alright, we got a flower right here. That's that's one. This is a blue flower. Take the flower. Alright, um, Monty. Oh, I don't actually need your help to get up the ramp. Let's go do what you gotta do. Go do what I gotta do. Yes, sir. Let's go upstairs. We're all that stands between chaos and order. Do you understand? Yeah, bro, I get it. It's hall monitoring. It's not that big a deal. Not that big a deal? If you're not going to take this sit Student in the halls before the bell? Study hall, study hall. Jeez, you're way too into this hall monitor thing, aren't you? This is your chance to prove yourself, rookie. <laughs> take this kid to the principal's office. Fine, I'll take care of it. Go monitor downstairs or something. <laughs> Look, man, I don't really care that you're up here. That little dweeb can fall down the stairs for all I care. He seems a little uptight. No kidding. Just stick, to, stick it to the little jerk. Why don't you take this? Let's get through morning time. He can't do much to you while you're carrying it. What did you just give me? Okay. Now let's get you back outside. Come on, dude. Don't come back in or Stevie will totally flip. Okay. Oh, never mind. Just head on down to class. Get a move on. Go to class. Okay, kids, teacher has a headache, so we're going to be very quiet. It looks like this school has more funding than the last one since there are actually toys. That's tough. Go play. Just please be quiet. Alrighty then. Wait, can we grab a toy? There's some toys in here, but only a spidgy, spinny fidgeter looks interesting. Nah, I don't want that. Let's talk to the kids, though. My dad drives a car like this. He said that when he dies, my twin brother feeling good to have it. That's sad, Ted. Why would your father tell you something like that? I just love this doll. She's so pretty, just like me. Do you have any flowers? Yes, sir. Of course I do. I have a pretty pink one. But you already know I have that reserved for my new boyfriend. Who's your new boy? You already got a boyfriend? Well, we aren't official yet. But it's going to be that cute boy in the blue shirt and red tie. He's in the upstairs class. I want you to take this to him. What is it? It's a love letter. Now go give it to him. Okay, fine. What happened? Nugget is present. No, Nugget is late. So you're getting study hall. Oh dear goodness, what happened to your arm? Nugget had to chew it off in order to escape from the failed Nugget cave? This dude chewed his arm off? Why did you? Never mind. Do you want to go to the nurse? You're bleeding all over my new classroom. Nugget is quite durable. Nugget will survive. If you insist, go ahead and play or do whatever it is that you do. Look at him bleeding all over. He's leaving a whole trail. All right, let's go deliver this note real quick. Okay. Hey, you can't leave. I'm responsible for you little monsters. Uh, I have a hall pass. I didn't give you a... You know what? Go ahead. I don't think a jury would convict me over that. What? Thanks, bye. <laughs> uh, hold up, new kid. You're only allowed to use the bathroom, nothing else. I have a pass. What? How did you get one of those? I won't accept... But I kind of have to. So I'm a lot of stairs? Yes, now go. Just do your job. You don't even get paid for this. Why are you even doing that? All right. Uh, the blue shirt and tie. I have no interest in discussing trivial things with you. Uh, I have a love letter for you. Oh, goodness. I'm flattered, but I must declare. It's from Sydney. <laughs> oh, that makes much more sense. You had me worried things were about to get awkward. Uh, nah, yeah, I don't go that way, bro. Good thing it's not awkward. Let's see here. A partner would make me more appealing to potential investors. How awful is Sydney? How old is this kid talking about potential investors? She's, oh, she's not bad. Excellent. Then I will accept her request. We will dine together. Good. Here's for your trouble, messenger boy. Ta-ta. I beg your pardon? I beg your pardon? Messenger boy. Say, I haven't seen you around here before. Why aren't you in this class? I'm working on that. A man of ambition. I like that. Dr. Dana loves his plants. Those red flowers are really hard to come by. Well, now that she speaks about it, how do I get them? 
I'd ask him some of the adults, see if any of them are smitten with a new faculty member. Now that there's been additions to the administration here. Wait, see if any of them are smitten with a new faculty member. Okay, thanks for the tip. What are you doing in here? You're not gifted in any way. Get out. Out, I say. Already. I'm about to head out anyway. We need that red flower. He said check with the new student, so let's go look around. It seems that the upstairs elevator is only active between classes. I can't use it. Okay, this is that. Look, we just checking. I'm just checking it every room possible. Chill. Oh, Bob. Oh gosh, I didn't see you there. This is the girls' bathroom. You're not supposed to be in here. You look a little red. Oh well, um, you see, I saw this beautiful woman. She had a she had lovely brown hair, a purple dress, and huge. <laughs> You mean Miss Applegate? Is that her name? Wow, Miss Applegate. I just wish I knew how to get her attention. Oh, there we go. Why not get her flowers? You think she would like that? Yeah, yeah, I'll get her flowers. Thanks for the tip, kid. No problem. If I leave now, I can be back in time to give them to her at recess. Good plan. Okay. Whoa there, little man. You shouldn't be in here. Sorry, I'm not gonna ask any questions. Just go to lunch. How would you know if I'm even- well, he probably saw me walk in. My word, she's a handful. What are you talking about? What's wrong? She wants something vegan, but I don't know what the devil that even means. Neither does she. Well, you have to help me find something she'll eat. This is all you're doing anyway. I'll figure something out. Good. Just remember to bring it to me, not her. We're trying to make me look good here. Got it. You're the one that agreed to it. Let's talk to the lunch lady. Hello, child. What would you like for lunch? Uh, got anything vegan? Oh yes, I should have seen this coming. You new students are so picky. I can prepare something in the back, but the janitor looks to still be mopping in the area. So you won't get it for me. Patience, child. You wouldn't want me to have a nasty fall. I wouldn't? <laughs> so we'll wait for the janitor to finish his work. I will make the food then, okay? Alright, so in the meantime, let's uh... Let's talk to the students. What's, what she got over here? I just love making new friends. They don't seem too thrilled to meet you. Why is that? Oh, are we, okay, I guess that's all we have to say. Sydney. Hey, new kid. How are you liking the food? <laughs> Do you have any flowers? Oh, poor new kid. I already suckered into helping Dr. Danner with his silly plants. So that's a no? You're so observant. However, there is one in the teacher's lounge. How do I get in there? Stevie is pretty easy to lure away. All I'd have to do is leave it out of pass. Are you willing to do that for me? Of course. For the right price. How much? Since I'll be getting study hall for this, it'll run you $5. Do we have a deal? All I have is $5. I'm about to be broke after this. Deal. Excellent. I'll give him the runaround for the rest of lunch. Good luck, kid. Thanks. What you about to do? Hold up. Hey, Stevie. What? Oh, hello, Carla. Can I get a pass for the bathroom? No, you can't. You already used yours today. Well then, it looks like I'll just have to go outside then. Hey, come back. It's not recess time yet. All right, that was easy. And the janitor is finished. All right, let's go back here real quick. Oh, look at Jimmy Neutron. All right, well, 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 look who it is. Seems that Stevie is slipping in his duties. How's my flower collection coming along? Have you found any yet? Uh, I have found one. Oh, really? That's more than I expected. I suppose you are in here to collect the flower in the vase over there. Yup. So be it. Make it quick and get out. I have to check on something outside, and I'll be danged if I let a child stay in the teacher's lounge unsupervised. Got it. Why can't you get this flower? You see it standing right th you're like standing right there, but I have to get it. This vase has a yellow flower in it. Take the flower. All right, I've entertained your presence long enough. Get out. Okay, sheesh. He's standing right there. You could get that one easy. All right, okay, now Margaret's back. You have returned for your picky food? I have. There you are, child. Please enjoy your rabbit food. Rabbit? Where do you get a rabbit from? Thanks. Please tell me you found something she'll eat. She's becoming insufferable. Here you go. Brilliant. Excellent work, errand boy. Yo, message your message boy, errand boy, chill out. No problem. Here you are, darling. A nice vegan meal for you. Oh, thanks, sweetie. You're the best. Now you just need to do one more thing for me at recess and we'll be official. Can't wait, honeysuckle. Honeysuckle. Leave before they start making out. 
These are kindergartners. The bell has rung. Be gone from my cafeteria. Anyone who has disobeyed our lovely principal today shall report to study hall. All others may go play at recess. Go to recess. Thank goodness you're here. She's being absolutely wicked. What now? She's insisting that I do something horrible to one of the other girls, but I'm not much for getting my hands dirty. So you want me to do it? Of course. Sydney already told me that you want that flower for Dr. Denner. It's as good as yours if you can destroy Penny's self-esteem. How do I do that? She has quite the eye for contraband. I say you take this and plant it by the tree with, with the beehive. What is this? I'm not really sure. All I know is that it was safe in our summer home. Father probably doesn't want it found, so, put, so I put it by the tree. Yeah, once you plant it, I'll let her know it's there. When she's under, under the tree, shake it until the hive falls. The bee will sting her and she'll look awful, just like Cindy wants. Okay then. How did you get contraband on you? All right, so this is the tree quite large. It has a beehive hanging precariously from the branch. Plant the contraband. Good day, Penny. Hello, Felix. It's a good day, isn't it? The sun is shining and the... Yes, yes, cut the chit-chat. I heard a nasty rumor from that one of the those nasty new children has hidden some contraband by the big tree. Oh no, I'll look for it right away. Oh my, there certainly is some contraband around here. I just need to find it. It's right there and she couldn't put two and two together. I'm standing right by it. He could at least give me a chance to walk away. This tree is quite large as a beehive thing. Oh, I read this. Shake the tree. How, how is this little kindergartner gonna shake this big tree? Oh, he, okay, he did it. <laughs> ow, ow, it hurts. Help me, help me. Uh, Mommy, please. Where did she go? Bloody good show. Sydney will be quite pleased. I'm happy you're happy. Music to my ears. Those bees did a great job on that awful girl's face. Can I have the flower now? Of course, a deal's a deal. Thanks for hooking me up with this walking gold mine. I'm sure we'll be very happy together. You deserve each other. Okay, oh, would you look at that? That little snitch didn't take the contraband. Well, I wouldn't mind if you wanted, wanted to keep it. Perhaps you can find another use for it. Like what? Well, I've seen Father's Associates sell large quantities. Perhaps there's a buyer nearby. Yeah, sure. Monty, probably. Oh, there's Bob with the flowers. Um, Miss Applegate? Huh? Oh, it's you, the new janitor. What do you want? These. <laughs> are for you. You got me flowers? Why, that's the sweetest thing every, anyone's ever done for me that didn't involve pills. Come with me. But what about the flowers? Leave them. What are they about to do? Hold up. Oh, well, let me get those flowers real quick. This is a bouquet of flowers Bob got from Miss Applegate. It's made up of red flowers. Take a red flower. Okay, so he said somebody might want to buy this, so let's, you know, Monty might want to. What? Just because I can't walk doesn't mean I can't play. Uh, I wanted to, to sell something. Oh, sorry. I can be a little defensive about this whole not being able to walk in. What did you want to sell? This stuff. Hey, where did you get that? Oh, geez, kid. Whatever you're doing, you're in way over your head. Do you want it or not? Yeah, yeah, sure. How's $5 sound? Deal. Pleasure doing business with you. All right, that's it. We got our $5 and... Real quick, let's see where uh, Penny had. Oh, we got an another flower. Yes, sir. This is a green flower. Take the flower. Hey, you're not supposed to be back here. They really should fix that gate. Sorry. Are you going to science class or gym? Um, we got the flowers. Let's go to science. Yes, sir. Okay. Welcome to science class. Today's lesson will be about plants. Please observe the common plant in front of you. Observe the plant. Notice how it is neither carnivorous or poisonous because the PTA is a bunch of cowards. Feel free to take a sample and look at it under the, one of the microscopes. This one won't do much, but it could if Ozzy's mom wasn't such a wimp. What? I almost forgot. One of you were supposed to get me some flower samples today. Did you manage to get them all? Yup. You did? Well, that is most impressive. I didn't think a lowly student such as yourself could manage it. So do I get an A or, or not? We'll see, I'll be right back. Okay, so what do I do? What is that? The PTA said you can't do stuff like this anymore. Oh, all of you shut up. 
This is new student that has actually managed to get all the specimens needed to allow Diana to grow. And there's no way the PTA will stop me. Got it, Ozzy? Got it. Wow, he folded. Now we're going to be feeding her the flowers in a very particular order. Um, where did I leave those notes? Dang. I left them downstairs. I'll be back momentarily. Feel free to observe the boring plant while I run and out and grab them. How did you discover the order? I need that. What? Oh, it just came to me while I was gazing around the room. I'll be back with it shortly. Don't touch anything. Can we leave? He said he left the notes downstairs. Hold on. Hey man, just because your teacher left doesn't mean you get to run around. Go back in there. Fine. Okay, so we can't leave. It's, it's somewhere in the classroom, so let's look at the... F we got blue, yellow, and purple fish. There are some fish in this tank. There are also some small yellow particles in here. I wonder what they look like magnified. Leave it. All right. Why is there a yellow and purple and red right here? So that messed me up. Hold up. And then we got one more over here, which is uh, purple, red, and green. We're going to start with the blue, yellow, and purple. Let's try it. This is Dr. Daniel's plant creature. It's supposed to be fed the flowers I've uh, collected. So we're going to start with the blue flower. Where should I feed it now? Okay, that work. Yellow. That work. Purple. Red and green. Yes, sir. Got it. I found my notes. We can now begin. My word, she's absolutely radiant. Did you, did you actually feed her the flowers in the right order? I guess so. I'm stunned. I never would have expected such an ab such ability from a simple than such as yourself. Yo, the disrespect is crazy. I suppose you have earned an A plus for the day. You are welcome to join my advanced class for morning time tomorrow. You are also welcome to have the silly card from that game you play. I'm touched. Yes, sir. Well, there's the bell. I'll be seeing you tomorrow for morning time. I guess you will. We came in clutch. Nugget is still bleeding. Why is he? How is he? How much blood he got in here? Where the ambulance? Why the man body still the right man there? Ain't supposed to be lying Call there. the damn ambulance.